Welcome to Electron Line. There's nothing like seeing all kinds of different examples to really get the hang of how to do this. Again, what we're trying to do is we're trying to take a sequence and turn into a general formula, a sub n, so a function in terms of n, so to speak. So here we're starting with the number 7, and then it increases to 11, 15, 19, 23, and so forth. Which means that if we let 7 be x, so we can say that this is equal to x, then this becomes x plus 4, this becomes x plus 8, this becomes x plus 12, x plus 16, and so forth. In other words, this is 1 times 4, 2 times 4, 3 times 4, so we can say that this is x, this would be x plus 1 times 4, and this would be x plus 2 times 4, and this is x plus 3 times 4, and x plus 4 times 4, so now we can really see the pattern. We have an initial offset, x, in this case 7, and then after that it begins to increase by 1 times 4, 2 times 4, 3 times 4. Now in comparison, and let me draw little lines here because I'm a little skewed, there we go. Now we're going to put in the values for n. And where's my blue pen? Here we go. So n, in this case, would be 1, would be 2, would be 3, 4, and 5. And notice that in each case, n is offset by 1 relative to the number that I need. So you can see that this would, for example, be x plus n minus 1 times 4. Here, x plus n minus 1 times 4, so we're beginning to see the pattern here. Which means that here n would be, n is 1, but I need, this would really be, if I want to rewrite that, that would be equal to, let me move the x over, this can be written as x plus 0 times 4. So we have 0 times 4, 1 times 4, 2 times 4, and again, notice that the n is offset like that which means that every term can now be expressed in terms of some offset x, which in this case is 7, plus n minus 1 times the number 4. So finally we can see that the sequence can be expressed as a sub n, which is equal to 7, the starting number, plus n minus 1, because we know we're offset by 1 relative to n, times the number 4. So when n is equal to 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, we get 7. When n is equal to 2, we get 7 plus 2 minus 1, which is 1 times 4, which is 7 plus 4 is 11, and so forth. And that gives us the sequence in totality. Now, some of you may be tempted to do the following. You may be want to say, well, there's a different way we can write this. We can simplify this by saying a sub n is equal to 7 plus 4n minus 4, or a sub n is equal to 3 plus 4 times n. Now, even though this is a correct form of the answer, this is absolutely correct, every term can be expressed like that, or every number in the sequence can be expressed like this, but this is the better way of writing it because it does show the offset being 7 being the first number, and then the relationship between the value of n and the value of the number that were multiplied by the constant difference between each of the sequence numbers. So this reveals more about the format of the sequence than this does, so this is the superior way of writing the answer, even though that is technically also correct. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>